Ever wondered how those long power lines hanging in the sky stay up for kilometers and kilometers? Well, the secret lies in something we often ignore. Line supports. Yup, that's what we're going to explore today. And trust me, by the end of this video, you'll start looking at electric poles a little differently. So let's power up and dive in. The basic role of line supports is to hold the overhead conductors above the ground. But they aren't just any ordinary poles. These structures have to face some serious challenges. Strong winds, storms, conductor weight, and even birds trying to build homes on them. To handle all that, an ideal line support must have high mechanical strength to hold the weight and tackle wind like a pro. It should be light in weight, because who wants a heavy pole that's difficult to handle? At the same time, it should be low in cost and easy to maintain, because nobody wants a diva on the field. It should have a long life, at least longer than your mobile phone screen. And finally, it must be easily accessible so linemen can climb up and do repairs without turning into Spider-Man. Now, let's spark things up and explore the types of line supports. Starting off with the classic, wooden poles. Usually made from seasoned wood like sal or cheer, these are the simple village guys. You'll mostly see them in rural areas covering shorter distances, say up to 50 meters. They're cheap, non-conductive, and available almost everywhere. But they do have their weaknesses. Ever seen a rotten stick? That's exactly what can happen to wooden poles, especially below the ground level. So to save them from becoming a termite buffet, they're treated with creosote oil. But they do have their limits. They rot easily, can't handle more than 20 kV, have a shorter life, around 20 to 25 years, and they don't lift heavy weights well. Still, they do the job for light local distribution. Moving on to the urban champs, steel poles. These are stronger, last longer, and allow longer spans. You'll mostly find them in cities, replacing the wooden types. They come in three styles, rail poles, tubular poles, and rolled steel joints. But don't forget, they need some makeup too. Yep, they must be painted or galvanized to protect them from rust and increase their lifespan. Think of them as the stylish but tough cousins of wooden poles. Then we have the heavy lifters, RCC or reinforced cement concrete poles. These poles are like bodybuilders. They're super strong, long lasting, need minimal maintenance and even look decent. Plus, they're great insulators and allow longer spans. They often have holes, not because they're broken, but to reduce weight and help with climbing. But here's the catch. They're heavy, really heavy. So transporting them can be a nightmare. That's why they're often made near the site to avoid massive transportation costs. Now, let's talk about the giants of the transmission world, steel towers. When it comes to long-distance, high-voltage transmission, nothing beats them. These monsters can handle extreme weather, heavy mechanical loads, and even serve as natural lightning arresters when grounded properly. Because they allow longer spans, there's less chance of breakdowns due to insulator damage. And did you know? Every tower is grounded by driving rods into the earth, turning each one into a mini lightning protector. Pretty electrifying, right? Oh, and there's one more interesting type. Instead of a single circuit tower, we can also go for a double circuit tower. It costs a bit more, but it's worth it because even if one circuit fails, the other can still keep the power flowing. That's like having a backup parachute in case the first one doesn't open. Now, before we end the video, let me ask you, which type of line support have you seen most around your area? Wooden poles, RCC or steel towers? Tell me in the comments below, I'd love to know how your local power network is holding up. If this video helped you understand a boring topic in an electrifying way, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. You can also press the thanks button to support our efforts or hit join if you want to be part of our exclusive community and get access to more powerful content. Until next time, stay safe, stay curious, and keep learning with Electrology.